All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, the Leonidas Effect. I wanted to do a quick rundown on my primary and my new secondary that I just finished putting together. Um, I, I know I made a previous video in the past, but it was very long. Um, my rifle and my pistol hadn't f fully been um, decided through. I was trying different things, the SRO, the RMR on my, on my, um, on my secondary. Um, I had this thing stay almost exactly the same. Um, just did a new uh, coat of paint. Uh, I changed the buffer tube back. I changed the weight inside the buffer tube and uh, mainly just put a lot of rounds through it so that I can go ahead and 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 give my verdict on this. But anyway, um, first I want to start off with my new secondary. Um, I was running the 19X. The 19X, I had a, a this slide on it. It's an agency arms cut slide. Uh, it, but this was for a Glock 19. I wanted to keep my 19X and 19X. Uh, I have an RMR on that, which I had on here. Uh, the cool thing about the AOS cut from agency arms is that you know all you got new new dots are out find the plate if it's out which they're close to impossible to find but you know for the acro it, it took me a minute to get it but you know it took me a minute to decide on the acro the reason why i decided on the upgrade is because my aim point has been so good um, especially under night vision that i wanted to go ahead and put the same thing on my pistol and in the and the few amounts of uh, uh, um, the little bit of time that i had behind it uh, it, it has exceeded my expectations through night vision. Um, it's it's really ugly and big, but again, you know, the main point of the upgrade was force night vision specifically. Uh, it's a Glock 19 shorter grip. Uh, I moved all the agency arms parts onto this platform. Uh, although I went ahead and got me a Surefire X300 uh, VB. Um, uh, the way that Surefire centers the ballast from IR to white light is perfect for a, a weapon mounted light. Uh, again, you know, I, I have the agency arms trigger, backplate, mag release, uh, comp barrel, and the cut. Uh, I might get it stippled, haven't decided on that yet. Went ahead and added an extra base plate. Uh, and don't worry guys, all the guns have been uh, saved to check prior to this video. You can trust me on that. Uh, but anyway, yes, this is my new uh, secondary. I love it. It, it, it works great. Um, the, I sometimes prefer the grip on the 19X a little bit better, but uh, again, this will do. I need to send in this trigger to get repaired. If you remember in one of my videos, uh, the middle safety shoe and spring fell out somewhere in the middle of the Ozarks. Uh, I don't know where it's at or in one of the properties that we get to shoot in. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm super stoked on this. I really like that it's black. I know that sounds weird, uh, but I didn't like the two-tone. Um, Hoping to get some black uh, plus two extensions. So yeah, that's the quick rundown. Balanced uh, runs great with that Glock reliability. Nothing else has been changed. Mine is the trigger, but again, it's on the Glock OEM trigger bar. Uh, I can run any grain ammo through this comp. Haven't had any problems. Obviously, uh, anything above 115 grain it performs even better. And this light. Um, performs a whole lot better than the surefire style lights that i've had made videos on but guys it's not that much of a difference um there's a fisheye effect to the knockoffs but compared to to the real one uh, i'm sorry but i don't think uh, um, it's that much better as far as output as far as durability these are proven uh, the other ones aren't but yeah Build yourself a, a good night vision gun. Uh, that way you don't constantly have to be changing dots, lights, whatever. Um, that's why I wanted to go ahead and, and keep my 19X on that one. You know, it's all OEM. Mine is the Magwell. Um, 10K rounds through it. It's butter smooth trigger. It's crazy. You wouldn't believe that it's a, it's a, um, 
OEM trigger. But anyway, a uh, quick rundown on the rifle, as you may know, uh, starting from the back, CTR, uh, stock, Daniel Defense tube, Daniel Defense uh, QD end, uh, end plate, Law Tactical Folder, Magpul K Plus Rubberized Grip, Geisley uh, Airborne Charging Charging Handle, oh, I forgot, uh, DDC. Um, I have the, um, what's the name of uh, AR Gold Trigger, amazing, can't recommend it enough. Aim point T2 on the unity mount. Uh, it's ugly, but again, for night vision, it's, it's fire. And, and uh, the supposed FDE matches a lot with the gold trigger. That looks dope to me. Uh, Daniel Defense uh, QD release thing, BS crap. Uh, you know, have the dope uh, Vicar, Vicar sling. Shit's tight. <laughs> it's just tight. Uh, it works awesome. Um, uh, let's see, HRF ramp on a, a hot button, or I think that's mod button, sorry, works great for their laser. PEC 15 2021 model performs awesome, looks brand new. I, I take care of my shit. I beat on my stuff, as you guys may see, uh, but I take care of it. On this side, you have the Surefire uh, dual fuel light. Uh, surefire suppressor, which is it's the shit. Love it. Surefire three prong flash hider. I just recently cleaned all the carbon buildup off of it because I could not get my suppressor off. It, it took a lot of force to get it off. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, this is the setup. Um, the only thing after man i would say since i put this thing together i've put about five thousand rounds through it and the only thing i would say that i'm constantly back and forth over is changing out the wrist rail um i don't know uh this this thing is heavy after you know a few hours uh, shooting under night vision having that rifle up even during the day uh stowing it i might I might get a padded sling to make it more and more durable and endurable. Sorry. Uh, but besides that, I don't think there is one change that I can make to it to make it better. Minus making it lighter. Uh, like they say, ounces equals pounds. And um, these are the main two points I'm leaning towards taking out towards getting a, uh, a uh, Geisley MK16 rail and removing this, so lightening it up a lot. Uh, but I'm afraid about that bendy bullshit that uh, I guess uh, Geisley never really uh, uh, clarified with everyone. Uh, but besides that, again, guys, use your stuff, figure out what what works for you. The RMR worked great, but under night vision, it was just uh, it was kind of small. The window was small. Uh, that the p2 uh equals the t2 in my opinion um so yeah guys uh let me know what you think uh any suggestions on what to make it better um as you see in my videos they're very non-professional but uh the intent is to um you know just share my stuff um i don't partake in any other type of social media so sharing my uh, my toys with you that i like to have fun with uh you know that's what it's all about uh get at me um leave a comment subscribe holla at your boy